The first thing about Isadora that really jumps out at you is the way she's covered in jewelry. She's got this wonderful diadem, gold diadem around her head, a gold pin and a silver pin in her hair, earrings made of gold and with what look to have pearls hanging from them, and a three ring necklace, if you will, that would make uh, even Mr. T jealous. When you compare her to the other ancient uh, mummy portraits that we have hanging in the gallery, she appears much paler than uh, most of the others. And that may have something to do with the makeup, and that may actually be her skin tone, but it's again indicative of a wealthier woman, someone who wasn't necessarily out in the sun all the time. If you look a little more closely, too, you'll see that she is wearing a cloak. It is in the color purple or maroon. Purple is the color of royalty. Uh, it is certainly an important color back in antiquity and usually distinguished the wealthy from the less wealthy. What's really fascinating about these mummy portraits um, is that, you know, these are representations of the deceased um, that, unfortunately, we don't really have a lot of information about. And we don't necessarily know if these portraits, uh, at what time in a person's life these portraits were painted, um, whether this was painted at some point in Isadora's um, lifetime or shortly after her death is unclear. But what is clear is that the way she wanted to represent herself is as this very wealthy woman. Woman. She knows um, exactly who she is, and she's very, very proud of it.